be a motorcade happening um, that will arrive at the Phoebe Sumter Medical Center. And let me show you a live look now at uh, this motorcade starting to come through. It's really at 1025 a.m. that this Carter family motorcade is expected to arrive at the Phoebe Sumter Medical Center in Americus. Um, Mrs. Carter's remains uh, are expected to be transferred to a hearse accompanied by both past and present members of her U.S. Secret Service detail. Uh, and you can really get a look here at, uh, look at the streets already being lined um, by mourners. And uh, you see some folks on the left side uh, of the street as well, on both sides of the street really, just gathering to, um, to pay their respects and to remember, remember this incredible life that's been lost. Uh, but again, this, this motorcade that you're looking live at right now will arrive at the Phoebe Sumter Medical Center in Americus. Um, and, and we'll just spend a bit of time there. Around 1040 is expected to depart the grounds of the medical center on a public route to uh, nearby Georgia Southwestern State University in Americus, um, where the public is invited to pay respects. You know, along this motorcade route, look at the crowd here. I mean, it just speaks for itself as to the the impact that mrs carter has had on on this community um, later on today at 11 a.m uh, you know the motorcade will uh, end up will arrive at the rosalind carter health and human sciences complex at georgia southwestern state university and that is where wreaths will be laid um, and th there's really a, a full slate of events throughout uh, this week to pay tribute to the former first lady. Um, you know, she's left a mark on uh, people all around the nation, the world, but particularly, of course, here in her hometown of Georgia, no doubt about that. And, and that's why it's felt so deeply here in Georgia, particularly in her hometown of Plains, um, but, but also in, in Americus where uh, the Phoebe Sumter uh, Medical Center um, is situated and um, where her contributions will, will be felt for many, many years to come.